in the beginning of things is the seed of all we are to become as humankind. And you and I carry that seed within us just, just as surely as we carry the seeds of our DNA. We carry this divine pattern of being that, that is infused into our selfhood, though often overlooked, that is the seed of the reality that is all we are to become as humankind, all that's to be embodied. Just as individually, we have that seed that has been planted within us, that is the core reality of us, planted in our soul, present in our soul, that the wonderful one within, the spiritual being who we are, planted there. And the seed of that is the potential for all that we are to fulfill in our human life. Speaking of this for all of us as humankind, you could well challenge me this morning and say, how do you know? How do you know that the seed that's planted within the body of humanity is the seed of divinity that holds within it the potentiality for our oneness, for one love to take over and be expressed? How do you know that there's what the one life of this one, what do we call it, oversoul? This one unifying being that we're all a part of. E pluribus unum, out of the many one, and out of the one many. This focalization of being that brings us all together was planted in our soul as humankind. And you could say, how do you know? And I can't prove it. What is the proof of the seed that's within you or me? Or what is the proof of the seed that's within all humankind? What's the proof of any seed? Is it not the fruit that grows from that seed? That is the proof. The proof of the seed within me is the fulfillment of my life, my presence in my life. And the proof of the seed within humankind is the fulfillment of humankind. It sounds like a chicken and egg problem. We have a body of humanity that is not believing in the seed that's within it. But you can't prove that the seed is there until that seed is allowed to take fruit. And it doesn't take fruit unless a human being opens to it and allows it to be real in their experience. So we move to the issue of faith. Faith in the seed. Faith in the seed that's planted within us. And then our ability to tune into that seed, that ability that we have in the human experience, in ourselves to tune into that reality uh, that's present at the core of our own soul, the seed. We have that ability. As Martin Cecil was fond of repeating, spiritual, spiritual things are spiritually discerned. They cannot be proved to a person by showing them the manifest because you need the tuning in and the faith to make the manifest. 